Imagine a world where everyone receives reasonable wages, where we don't have to worry about continents melting away, and where most people don't have money problems. Believe it or not, this world isn't completely out of reach, because these three things have one thing in common. One of their biggest contributors is fast fashion. Well, what is fast fashion? Fast fashion is the production process of any item you see in Zara, H&M, or any other um, cheap clothing chain. And it's based on the idea that it shouldn't take more than 15 days to go from the designer's idea to being sold in store. Obviously, this would be impossible with a sustainable production cycle, um, high quality fabrics, and avoiding labor abuse. Fast fashion is the second most polluting industry in the world after the fuel industry. It, it produces about 10% of the world's greenhouse gases. But why doesn't anybody know about this? Well, I'll tell you why. Because Zara, H&M, and all those other cheap clothing stores don't want you to know. Because it would be bad for business if it got out that their workers are exploited, working long hours for minimum pay in unsafe working conditions. Plus, many of them are also children. It would be bad for business if it got out that these designers uh, design the clothes to go out of style in a couple months so you feel compelled to buy new ones. It would be bad for business if it got out that every t-shirt produced uses massive quantities of chemicals, water, and fuel, fossil fuels. A lot of the things that we purchase fulfill some kind of function in ourselves, particularly fashion items, says Mike Kiors, a clinical psychologist at Australia's Flinders University. Impulse shopping is a big problem about 5% of people suffer from. They overspend on clothing items as a reward for something they did. And it's even harder to resist online because it, the stores are always open and just a click away. Even though it's a real pathological problem, it's not acknowledged, so people don't show up for treatment. But you don't have to have a pathological problem to overspend on clothing items. In fact, fast fashion brands hire a large amount of people to study how to get you to spend more money on clothing items you don't need. One of the techniques they use is by making a fashion season every week, so changing up the items in the store so you feel compelled to buy new ones again, um, even though they'll just go out of style in a few months. Have you ever heard of the Rana Plaza incident of 2013? Probably not, you want to know why? Because again, it would have been bad for business for the companies involved. In fact, even if you know what happened, you certainly don't know which companies did it because um, nobody wanted to take responsibility for the 1,134 victims um, that that 24th of April 2013 brought with them. The Rana Plaza was um, eight-story building where every day thousands of miserable workers went to uh, support their families uh, for only a couple dollars an hour. It was already an unstable and falling apart building, but uh, this 24th of April 2013, it completely collapsed uh, and uh, killed uh, these poor um, people that were just trying to support their families. So in the end, I know it's fun to keep changing up your wardrobe every once in a while, but each time you buy from a fast fashion brand, I want you to think about all, everything you are supporting by doing this. You're supporting labor abuse, um, unsustainable um, production processes, and people who encourage high spending pathological behaviors. Thank you.